Hey you guys, this is just a care video on African clawed frogs. What you're gonna need is a big cage. A 10 gallon will work, but I used a 14 gallon because it has more space. You're gonna need a heater, a filter, and a hood. Doesn't matter if it's screen or plastic, doesn't really matter. And you're gonna need some hiding spots. I just used some rocks and propped them up against the glass. Maybe a few plants for decoration. And some gravel small enough that, I mean, big enough that it won't get down in their throat and they'll choke. So they do get bigger than this. This is just about halfway grown. Um, I have two in here. The other one is a little bit smaller, but I think they are a mating pair. I have one cichlid in here. I don't know which type, but it's for the turtle tank that I'm cleaning out. And you can get a pleco. Just make sure the pleco is bigger than the frog so the frog won't try to eat the pleco. But the frog will probably learn its lesson because um, the pleco will spine him or cut him or something. So you can get some snails in here. I recommend apple snails or ramshorns. And they eat almost everything. They're not very picky eaters. They will eat blood worms, wax worms, meal worms, earth worms, red worms, crayfish, shrimp, fish, goldfish, minnows, slugs, anything that will fit into their mouth they will eat it so don't get anything that goes in the tank that might get eaten they do have sandpaper sort of a sandpaper feel in their mouth and so that's when they grab their food it won't try to escape they are called the African Clawed Frog because they have claws on the back of their feet. And they use their front hands to sort of push their food into their mouth. They will also eat turtle bites and when they're smaller, maybe some goldfish pellets. You need to leave some air above the tank so they won't try to jump out and escape and they are aquatic but they don't have gills they have lungs so they have to go up to the surface and grab a gulp of air and then go back down um, the heater I usually keep it around 76 to 79 it keeps them active enough but not too cold and that's pretty much it be sure to feed them I say once a week because they're still really fat after that but they will eat stuff one after after the other until they can't fit anything else in their body but they'll still try so good luck and um, have fun with your African clawed frog.